Hey, bitch. <laughs> what up, cut ups? How's everybody doing out there? <laughs> this video today is going to be about sex after surgery. <sighs> oh my God. Ladies, no matter what you do, do not let him hit it from the back. That shit ain't gonna work. Yes, ladies. Anyway, um, <laughs> my doctor personally did not give me a set time to actually have intercourse. Um, he didn't really, we didn't even talk about that. Like that never even came up. So I just didn't think about it too much. Um, going by other people's stories and you know, whatnot. I've heard some women say that their doctor would tell them to wait uh, a month, like wait one month and then, you know, they can do it. I've heard other ladies say that uh, they were told to just do it when they pretty much felt ready, you know, um, to each his own, <sighs> to each his own. I am going to say uh, wait till you get ready. Definitely don't let him talk you into doing the shit. It's like a bunch of peer pressure, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and I say it's a bunch of peer pressure because that man is so horny for you. Like, he see a whole new person and he see a new body and he's ready to explore and experiment and Woo, 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 okay? And it's up to you. You have to stop him. Tell him, no, I ain't ready. I'm still sore, whatever, whatever. Don't let him talk you into doing it if you are not ready, ladies. Um, that shit will hurt. Uh, I guess, then again, it depends on the position. So, that could have a lot to do with it. I'm gonna be honest. Let's talk about my experience, okay? Um... <laughs> I did it like because of the peer pressure. Um, I couldn't stop him. He he was at it like he was following me like all around the house when I first came home, um, trying to get it. You know he was trying to get it. That's it. That's all. Just trying to get it. And I gave in, and we did it from the back. And oh boy, I just don't suggest that. And let me tell you why. I don't suggest it because in that position, like when he's going forward and he's moving you and you're thrusting forward, that's where that incision is. It's too much stress on the incision. And it might be okay at that time because he going in, he going hard, he all up in it, right? But girl, you might pay for that shit later. Yes. In the doggy style position, you may pay for that later. I don't suggest that position I know it's all that behind back there and you can get excited, but uh, <laughs> don't let him do it from the back because it hurts. You know, at that time when it's all the passion and whatever, whatever, okay, cool. But afterwards, me personally, from that position, I started to feel sharp pains, you know, um, that, that I didn't like. I definitely did not like what I was feeling. And it lasted throughout the the night uh, into the next morning. It was getting a little bit better the next morning, but I still could feel it, even though it was just a little more subtle. Um, yeah, ladies, don't get coaxed into doing it. You know, make sure that you're ready. Make sure you are ready. Let me put this thing on here, y'all. But anyway, I just wanted to bring up the importance of that, um, making sure that you're ready. Pretty much, I, I can't stress that enough. I just can't stress that enough, guys. Um, and hopefully you have a man that's understanding and can really wait, you know, that's... My man wasn't like that. He was trying, you know, little con artist games and, you know, he, he was like, to me, to me, he was saying like, you ain't, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna see you for three days. Like he was like trying to give me a subconscious 
um, time frames, you know, I, this is what I felt. I told him to, you know, like, dude, I'm going to let you know when I'm ready. You're not going to let me know when you're ready. Like, he was trying to say, like, well, I won't be seeing you. For, this is before I even came back to the country. He was like, um, well, it's going to be three days since I'm about to see you. Like, I'm going to be ready in three days. You know, I was bruised and everything at the time, y'all. Still pretty bad. Um, first week back? No. Nah. Don't, don't let him do it. Don't let his ass do it, y'all. Ladies, listen, please. If you must get it, because I'm kind of hot natured. I admit it. When I want it, I want it, man. And I'm going to tell you something. I wanted it. Ugh. It was tight. That little thing down there, it was jumping. It was pulsating. It was ready. Okay? Now, this is what I do suggest. Oral sex. You know, let him go ahead down there and, you know, do a little lickety split on you. You know, make you feel good and all sexy, extra sexy and all that. For the ladies that like that. I know some ladies don't. I don't know what's wrong with them ladies that don't, but... <laughs> Um, I'm gonna be honest, even though that's what I prefer, that's what I love, that's my thing, I was scared, you know. I knew I was ready, but I was actually scared to actually have an orgasm. And I say that because all that shit's connected in there, like, you know. Let me pull my shirt up. All that stuff is connected up in there. So, I was kind of scared to, to orgasm because I didn't know if it was gonna hurt my tummy. I, I just didn't know. I didn't know. You know. So, I found out, though, because when it was time, you know, I, I did orgasm, but it wasn't to the fullest because I was trying to do it <laughs> kind of slow. I don't know. That probably don't even make sense. But I was trying <laughs> trying to like measure it out trying to like ease it out that don't even make sense but that's what i tried to do um i just didn't want to hurt myself ladies but i knew i was ready i knew i needed to come i, I had to it was time so yeah um i did feel it it felt good it wasn't as intense but you definitely can tell that it's all connected up in there with your tummy and all your little whatnots. And you don't want to mess with that so much. Um, even though it that didn't hurt me. Like afterwards, there was no after effects from just having him go down on me or whatever. That was kind of cool. Um, yeah, I liked that shit, y'all. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. Um, but after that like waiting a couple weeks at least, um, letting the wound close up and, you know, get try to try to heal itself, um, the physical wound, the scar. Um, try to get to the point where, you know, um, when you cough or sneeze or laugh, it's not sore anymore. Because at first you don't want to do those things. Right after that tummy tuck, you don't want to do that shit. You don't want to do that. And I'm still even very, very, very careful and conscious of not overly coughing and, you know, stuff like that, laughing too much or, you know, too hard. But um, I do have to say I, I did like, I liked the intercourse. It was good. But, because we tried it again. And this time we did it in a different position, a more comfortable position for me. And the position was um, just basically with me on my back lying down and him on the side, lying next to me, but just turned, you know, towards me. And I kind of had my leg up, kind of, he kind of got it like that, you know. Um, and that worked. That worked. Even though he was still going in, uh, even though he was still going in. <laughs> It worked. It worked. It was more comfortable. I didn't feel that stress on my incision. So that was a lot better for me. So like I said, ladies, go ahead and have sex when you're ready. Um, just do it in your own time. And everybody's different. Everybody is different, you know. 
if you want to go by what your doctors say, you know, so like I said, some doctors say a month, some doctors might say three months or whatever. Do that too, you know, whatever floats your boat. Um, just do you, but just be safe, ladies. Don't overdo it, you know. If you got the kind of man like I got, the kind of trying to tell you, come on, come on, come on, uh, and you know you ain't ready, you tell him to s slow down and do something else, you know. Um, yeah, <laughs> like do something else, right? Right. <laughs> or you could do it for him, shit, you know, because that's pretty much what I had to do, like, first coming home, like the first day, you know, because he was at me like, I'm ready, and I was like, which hand you want me to use? You know, because ain't shit going down, you know, no other way. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I know this video is a little bit graphic. I get it. But um, I'm just trying to tell y'all, you know, from my, my own experience, nobody else's, um, what it was like for me. Okay. And um, I tried not to be so graphic, but I know it kind of was, but it is what it is. Take your time, ladies. Don't be in a rush to be having uh, intercourse or sex after surgery. Take your damn time. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.